I was just thinking, was thinking about space and alien, my brother, traveling out in space. Alien, my brother, likes the human race. Evil is subjective. I do believe in aliens. I'd say the most despair was not getting the kind of radio play I wanted. I believe in time travel. I would get reviews in magazines, but radio didn't know what to make of it. I believe in the theory of black holes and quantum physics. We're not the only ones in the universe. I used to go to Studio 54, man. Break, break the line, go right in front. Hey, here's my calling card, Conrad Evil. The DJ is expecting me. I tried everything. It was, of course, a lie, but uh, every week, man, I'd go in. Every week I'd get in, give it to the DJ. I probably brought it to every single major record label that uh, said, no, this, it's kind of interesting. It's almost out of a different era, but it's not for us. me from 1982. One of the first songs I wrote for the Conrad Evil was the first song on it, Matrix. And initially it was just this bass line that brought the whole song together going, it's only a matrix that we meet by chance. It's only a matrix, not a coincidence. time that I was doing the album, I was actually not working at a specific job at all. I was just working in music, being a studio musician, playing music, making some bucks here and there, which in effect is why I moved back in with my parents at that age. It's just things weren't happening. The production techniques that I used were actually nothing like the new wave songs I was listening to uh, because it was done with less expensive equipment. Everything I did on that album was totally solo. Um, my own incandescence, basically. I even had to put that on the, on the liner notes. My only regret with the album is at the time I did it, I thought maybe I should have had a better studio quality, but in foresight, not too much after that, I kind of realized that the sound quality was the kind of personal sound quality I was searching for. Little child, little child, on your crazy motorcycle ride. The fondest memory I have about making my album is just the beautiful sounds I was able to create with my synthesizers, putting it to the words that I knew really would have meaning to people in the future. When my dad died in the early 90s is where I found out I was adopted. Evolution in my mind makes me wonder who I am. I had found in his files uh, more than one birth certificate. Uh, one was a year apart, one said Barry Connerick, one said Barry Morrison. I always kind of suspected I was adopted. I was never close with the kids in my family. I always felt pretty much like an outsider. Just people who never really liked me were friendly to me and they didn't even get to know me. You know, I didn't really have parents that loved me. I didn't have relatives, I had nothing. I want to have family. It would be nice to have a family knowing where you came from, uh, where your genes are from, but um, I do wonder about it several times a year who my real parents would be. What I like about living in Idaho is just uh, the quaintness, the friendly people, the factor that the people aren't like a lot of big city people. Here's the, the feed mill over here. I uh, never used to visit too many feed mills in New York City, to tell you the truth. When I first came out here, a lot of people laughed at me because my comment was, wow, a 
a lot of land to put apartment buildings. You don't see much traffic out here. You don't see much people out here. Like I said, the total antithesis of any big city, particularly New York. I definitely like some quaintness. Gives you the feeling of roots, even if you kind of move in on those roots. Back a few years ago, out of nowhere, I got a call from some Russian dude that paid somebody to locate me. Said, hey, I, if you have any Conrad Evil albums, I want to buy a copy. I decided, after speaking to him, that who knows, maybe there was a demand for my album. So uh, I searched, I googled, and suddenly I found on Waxidermy years of people finding my album, looking for my album, enjoying my album. I put my phone number on there, say, hey man, Conrad's still alive and well. And I'd say within five minutes, I must have gotten 50 phone calls. I'll tell you, man, it just made me melt. All those years, all those fans out there. I'll tell you, man, I'm glad to be here. And I'm glad I'm alive to see it. I didn't think I would be. Out of space, life landed in New York. You would shoot them all to hell. If that's the case, we'll leave you by ourselves. If that's the case, boys, we'll leave you by yourselves.